actually going to use this is called the sleeve board and um, it makes it easier to put it over the end when it's a small bag. If it's a bigger bag, you can put it over this end of this iron board here. here you're going to fold this down so that that edge meets the, the red line. So this red line that you've got right there, that top, that top should be uh, matching up with that red line. Press with the clapper. So remember that the edge of this, the top lines up with your red line. Don't try to fold it at the line because then your casing will be too big. It's gonna line up to the top. Okay, when you're finished, the edge, the top of your pillowcase will look like that, and that's for the casing for your drawstring to go through. This is folded down so it matches to the line. and we're just gonna stitch the top of the, the pillowcase um, right where it's already been stitched. So that zigzag stitch was the edge finish and I'm just gonna stitch right over it. Okay, the opening is going to go over the arm of the machine like this. So I'm gonna start right at the seam. And I'm just gonna put, match this, match your zigzag up with the center stitching line. And then I'm just gonna stitch all And this back stitch, bring the needle up, and cut. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like when it's finished. You'll see the stitch on this side. I'm going to fold this down so that the top of my bag matches to the line. If you're not folding the line, make sure you match the top of the bag to the line. And this is folded down so it matches to the line. 